what secrets lie below. So we're now at the 114 Zara spot, boosting as we were like earlier. Um, we're going to be here for quite a while as this is going to bring us all the way through um, to 117, except for a small detour at Ceridomen at 116 in order to finish off about 25 logs there and get another about six Tetra Compass keys. Hot oh, damn, a sensor. Uh, the sensor piece here just sold for 76 mil. Our XP capacitor will finish on our next trip. Let's go back to Caradet. Tome. Another tome. He's going to really help us get up to um, 114. Additionally, it's now pylon. So we get, um, as per usual, 5% um, precision and 10% more XP while excavating. I just want to get to 114 so I can put away this stinking cape. Wow, two Tetra Compass pieces this hour. So we have about 1.8 mil of artifacts in the bank. So about 600k XP to go with our um, excavating at about 300 and our artifacts getting us about 40 cage we're getting about just under 700 cage so i anticipate this will take us another two hours to get to 114 and we can put away the cape then we're going to be staying in this location without cape boosting all the way through till 116. at 116 we're going to do two things the first thing we're going to do is um, move on to Zami, um, and finish off the Zami logs that we can there, um, as we should have some uh, potential for Tetra Compass keys. And also, we're going to go finish off the Ceridomen log, because the Ceridomen log 4 gives you a relic which gives 2% XP in gathering skills. So that's 2% less XP. About 140 mil XP we'd still have to gain, and it would be about 2.8 mil XP saved. So that is a couple hours knocked off the tally. Now, in terms of uh, logs, we're also going to do about 25 Sarah logs. Um, the reason why we want to do those logs is each one gives us a Tetra Compass piece, and from the 105 to 107 and 109 to 110 grind we picked up a lot of those uh, keys so we only need to do the 117 portion which should probably bridge the gap between 117 and 118 and then we can stick at zeros alternating between 114 and 118 all the way to 200 mil um, it seems as though the other high level players are not um staying here past 118 and they're moving on to bandos um is a bit of a gamble on my portion because if i do it this way i'll be able to afford a, a tony's matic earlier as the materials here are really cheap and really farmable on an alt account so this is a gamble that while might look like a lower XP per hour will actually turn out to be better. Last artifact we need to get up to 114. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and make all of these. Make sure my math was right. 19, 21, 18. Yes, that'll get us 2.25 mil XP, which gets us up to 114 there. We just need to make sure we have all of the items we need. Oh, I need to cape boost to make these. That's going to be annoying. And the hoods are complete. Staffs are done. Now let's get the leftovers.
And that's 114 archaeology, which means we can do what we were just doing without having to use the cape. Which makes my life a hell of a lot easier and will increase the XP per hour because I will no longer be messing up. Another pylon. Let's see what we can get this 30 minutes without having to boost. Big Pog, double hood. Uh, Fortune Perk got us another staff piece. Staff sensor. 70 more mil. 47.50 is slow buy. Yeah, I bought 18k. Ooh, I got a staff ornament. That's my third one. 70, 74 and change. Yeah, I got a tome. It's this double. Unfortunately, it's the one that we have too much of. <laughs> but I'll take it. So our overnight 12-hour journey is done. We'll get 100k XP for this. And we got... Wow. Three artifacts. Now, I also went through last night and found um, artifacts that I could disassemble because I no longer need them for logs. So if I pull up my image here, I will grab the things to disassemble. This will help us not only with bank space, but we should get some good components here. Um, which we can then make either those XP things or we can sell them. Things where I don't want to keep the log, but um, I can make advantage, I can take advantage of um, the components. I'm not going to disassemble any Bandos ones because we're doing Bandos dig sites. And those Bandos dig sites will get us random artifacts that we can we can fill in quite well. I want to keep the rods and the patera bowls. So we ended up with 32 of these crates. No, at all, at all. They sell for mid, that's 400 mil plus about 100 mil from our XP capacitors that we're going to get. So we'll put these in at 10,500. Vintage crates finished selling, so that's 350 odd mil that we can go grab from the GE when we have a moment, but we'll have to convert some of this into shards. Insta sold 90.5 mil. That's so good. Praetorian staff got doubled by fortune. Um, and it's the one we need the most of. Perfect. It happened back to back. No way. Popping off with these drops, nether rod. So I think this is going to be our last artifact here on the way to 99. Um, I think. Not a hundred percent sure, but the math seems to work out where we have enough of everything. We get up to all the way up to 116. We needed 54 robes, 60 staff, 55. So that's 6.738. And then I also have this golem to make, and I have uh, a couple other things to make. So first we're going to go send out our next dig site and then we're going to get all the materials we need. Now we're going to the ruins of Uzer here so that we can get another black mushroom ink to complete this golem instruction. We also need to get quintessence so I'll go buy 50 of that. Okay now Alyssa is I think up here farther up by the boat and we have to give her the golem instructions talk to Alyssa we give her the golem instruction 
And now she's one of our researchers. And if we go to our research thing, we can now change our team. We can unassign Simon Tem Templeton. At Alyssa Giovanni increases the chance of discovering artifacts. So nothing changes, we just get more artifacts. And as Stormguard Citadel is the closest to the bank, we're going to go there for our, our artifact making. So that's going to do it for all of our staffs. We're about 157k short. The only thing is we need to get about 200-ish uh, more Hellfire Metal here. So that we can finish off these Zami ones. So 42,400 per artifact now. And oh, one more. And 116. So if we go here, we ended up with essentially. We ended up with essentially 78 of these, and one of each of these is already in the collection log. So we have 78 that we can pair with when we get to 118. So our first 200-ish relics at 118 will have the pylon battery boost. So we're now at the 117 spot. We're only going to be here for one Kontos Spear and one, or Kontos Lance and one Doru Spear, because that gets us the relic when we and in the reward and then we're gonna go finish off our 116 logs that we have and the tetras associated with it and hopefully we're pretty close to 117 we don't have to cape boost that much because i am not a fan of it got the spear we can get out of here and now if we, we should be able to just straight away restore these two uh, no broadcast for that so we've done one of every sarah item um, one of these one of these one of each of these paintings and now we teleport collector collector sir Apsha, his collection we go we finish that we get the pestesos which we can add to the um, relic and we're going to activate that relic power and we unlock inspire effort gain two more xp when training gathering skills so we're going to unharness and is it this one yep uh, slot one confirm there we go we will now gain 2% more XP. We still need to get three more of these helms and two more of these cauldrons before we can get out of here. Uh, hopefully we'll get it done this trip. And then once that's done, we will be cape boosting at Sarah again. So uh, while I was on mobile after taking a shower, we got our final helm we needed to finish off five of these Damarokian four logs so we are going to go as soon as this artifact is done so we're back at the cape boosting spot we're going to be here until we have 24 um, more to complete all of our logs um, for Serodomen, as each one will give us a Tetra piece, and this is the most XP per hour that we can currently get. Another fortune perk double. Today's my lucky day. So we're just finishing off our Sarah items here. We have 25 of each, which allows us to make them for the logs and get all that juicy experience. Here we're just grabbing three at a time out of the bank using the archaeology elite outfit to teleport to sriracha sriracha good pun and just hand it in and then we go back to the max guild and repeat 
Uh, in total, we had 13 Tetra keys that we could use. Um, unfortunately, I'm an idiot and for some odd reason stopped recording after opening the first casket. But I can report that there was nothing special. If anything, it was really bad and I was not happy with what we got. Um, but it was still free XP. So we're now at the 118 spot cape boosting. Uh, we can get globes, paintings, and battle plans. The materials aren't too bad. Vellum, purple, viz, and some silk and white oak. The only thing that you don't get from actually excavating here is Zeros insignia, but they are really cheap. Um, and basically every time we get a set of these, we get an extra 100 pylon batteries, which is an extra 50k XP. So I absolutely hate this table, because the click box is massive. And like, if I'm trying to click here, it's over the stuff and it's just like, way too easy to leave. By accident, I've done it like four or five times already. Our first double here. Ended up hitting 80 mil XP this trip, didn't even notice. But that is really nice, 24 to go. Wow, 14.75 mil, like five mil an hour profit. Unfortunately, we didn't get that Matic that just dropped. It went for 10.1, and right now we have 8.5 bill. But with um, the XP capacitors or chronotes, um, we should be able to pick up uh, a Matic in the next couple days, I think, assuming a couple drop each day. Um, so, it should be soon. Is this trip? Wow. So what we're gonna do when this trip is over is we are going to absolutely liquidate out all our augmented items and as much as we can into a spirit shard stack to be ready to buy a Tony's Matic. Cause I'm gonna buy one at some point before I'm 200 mil. It's just a matter of when, not if. So I might as well do that. And all the perks I have are now useless anyway because they've been outclassed like biting three is worth nothing um, because I have to get biting for it anyway um, so it gives me worst case scenario if I don't get a matic I can just rebuy everything and do a like sort of max gear video turning in our four tomes from that trip very extra free 300k xp so we ended up with um, 242 mil shards, uh, about another 420 mil here, and 645. We're looking at about 9.3 as our max offer. Assuming we don't need any other money, so I'm going to try to keep it at 9 bill for the Manic. So Pylon is active now and we get 45 XP on a fail and what's our success one? 324 on a success of so 650 of Furnace Prox. Wow. Capacitor sold at like 14.5 mil so I will take that. One's at 40k. Basically I leave it in at a high price and then if I finish one and it hasn't sold yet then I lower the price to so sell. We seem to get one of these every couple hours. This is actually insane money. Might be able to afford a Tony's Matic soon enough. This is a joke now. Two in one inventory. Two frauds, one inventory, three tomes the next. Today is a good day. I'm not sure if I mentioned, but the rods sold for 123 mil each. So that was just under 250 mil combined. Let's read our to tomes and stare longingly at Guildmaster Tony's Matic. So we're here just making the last of our items uh, to get us up to 119. And with this, we completed the 114, 118 log a bunch of times. 
to get over 350,000 chronotes and 2,800 pylon batteries to use. We're getting uh, fairly close, probably an hour or two away. So assuming I didn't mess up the math, which we all know I've done that a lot, the, we just banked our last artifact for 120. So making these Legio paintings, we get 46.8k each, so pretty nice. Yeah, 1 to 99 basically took as long as 99 to 120. I just realized that if Pylon goes off, I can't turn in my batteries. It means I'll have to wait to get 120. Yeah, I'm doing this. Try it. 5,300 batteries. Let's see this like 2.7 mil XP drop. 120. Good skill capes. I wonder if we've got any skill capes lying around. 120 master skill cape. Oh, that looks so cool. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm doing the emote. Let's see, emote. Emotes. Cape. Yo, that's dope. 